Hey, this is Jay. And this is Chelsea. Welcome to the Shifting Perceptions Podcast. We are bringing you inspiration to live a more creative lifestyle because our favorite people are the ones that choose the path less traveled. Hi, I'm Jay Alders. And I'm Chelsea Alders. And we are sitting here doing our first podcast episode. This is episode one. Yeah, and we thought maybe we would explain a little about why we thought we could start a podcast. (laughs) So um, one of the first, um, I don't know, like detailed conversations we had about this was a couple of years ago driving from D.C. to home and our all three of our kids. We have three children. They were born within 18 months of each other. So Summer's about to turn five and Grayson and Jude are three and a half. And at the time, they were a lot younger. It was just two years ago and they were sleeping in the car and we started talking about uh, how cool it would be if our conversations that we had with each other and with this magical list of friends and people that we know were was recorded for for the world to listen in on how cool that would be and that started out with hey maybe we should start a podcast and um that was a couple years ago and then where did it go from there well this is one of the things i love about my husband is that time is like a warp because (laughs) it was exactly one year ago but i think that trip actually we had driven all the way to florida feels like six years ago i know and then we stopped in dc on our way home but we had visited like I don't know, everyone we know on the entire East Coast, right? Like we'd done a million stops and talked to so many cool people and we kind of realized yeah, these hours like, and hours of conversation are so Yeah, we incredible. realized like the fr- some of the friends we stopped off to see were like entrepreneurs with multiple successful businesses, people running magazines and advertising agencies and musicians professional and professional touring musicians and yeah. artists and we met them at skate parks. Yeah, we've known a lot of these people for 10 years, but this was the first big trip to meet our kids. And so I don't know. I mean, I think that was our jumping point where we were like, we've been wanting to do a project together between the four businesses we own. We've never actually worked together. I think there's been a lot of assisting back and forth on different parts of many projects, but maybe we should start there. Like, yeah, I'm an artist and Chelsea is a A lot of stuff, but a birth doula. Yeah. Right now, so primarily. Yeah, I think um, I've been an entrepreneur for a really long time, but birth doula is the title I currently carry outside of mom, wife, etc. And Jay has been an artist his entire life. Yeah. So, so I was like the weird art kid. That's my first on on air burp. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I was that weird art kid in school that just I love doodled. That, that uh, came with your weird art kid. Well, see, that I'm just emphasizing why yeah. I was why I'm weird. So, yeah. um, uh, yeah, I was the kid in the school that would just draw on notebooks and, and not really pay attention. And I'm not encouraging that, but that's that's kind of who I was. And I recently, over the past couple of years, unearthed a career essay from when I was probably eight or nine, and it was one of those like, "What do you want to do when you grow up?" type things. And I read it. And I was like dumbfounded because I pretty much wrote exactly what I'm doing now. I've always wanted to be a professional artist. I've always wanted to work for myself and be an entrepreneur. I've always wanted to do philanthropy and help people. And I've always wanted to be rich, even though I haven't got there yet. <laughs> but it's it rich was, in many other ways. Yeah, abundant Jay. in other ways besides monetary. And, and I've <laughs> certainly achieved that. But um, yeah, I went on to chase that dream and I've always pursued that with dedication and commitment and belief that I can do it. And right now and for the past, well, my whole entire adult life, I've been doing art for a living. I've never really had a real job except for one uh, couple month month stint in um, Fort Lee as a web designer. But otherwise, I've always worked for myself. I'm a, currently a fine artist. I basically paint pictures for a living and I've been on numerous world tours and I've been on tour with rock stars and on stage doing live painting and my art's been on magazine covers and what else Chelsea I'm forgetting all my cool stuff I just did an album cover for Slightly Stupid which was pretty awesome and yeah I mean I don't know I think between that business and um, we have another business we run we've really been lucky in that 
I don't know. We've been able to travel the world for many years. And Can I brag about you for a second? So Chelsea, sure. for the past eight, nine years, uh, my time warp might be affecting 12. me. 12 years. Wow. Has been running uh, our entertainment company that we co-own, which is an international entertainment agency. And we work for some really huge brands. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say brands on. Yeah. on yeah. Okay. So we've worked, for, we do a ton of work for Nordstrom and Australia and Guess and Nike and who else I'm forgetting. Some Cartier and huge brands rely on our company to do their marketing and promotions internationally. And Chelsea's been basically running as the president of that company for a long time and has done remarkable things with it. And that was a company I originally, originally started when I was a teenager and she's just like blown it up like crazy into like the mid six figures at the highest point gross. And um, over the past couple of years, I'm super proud of her because she's um, she's reinvented herself as a birth doula, which is a passion of hers. And you should probably speak upon that because that's a it's been an awesome thing to witness. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, five years ago when I was pregnant with my daughter, well, actually five years and four days ago, the other way, <laughs> whatever. Summer is almost five. And um, when I was pregnant with her, I really was in the beginning clueless. I did a lot of research, but um, ended up going with hypnobirthing and a water birth for her. And I really just like it blew my mind. So fast forward, I really, you know, um, was pursuing this career as a doula on top of running the agency, sort of like as a fun side thing. And then, you know, nine months later, got pregnant with twins. So it was a whirlwind. And um when the boys were about six months old, I actually got to pursue it and really start doula ing. And what turned into, or what started as one birth, ended up being, you know, um, probably like, I don't know, my first year was probably 15. And then after that, you know, I'm close to 75 now. And I've worked with so many amazing clients. And that's turning into an agency in its own right. So um, the entrepreneur and growth side, I absolutely love. But what I really love is that I'm finally in a business that I get to work one-on-one -on -one with just incredibly strong women and families. And it's really cool. I'd say I'm really proud of us how we've always like, not always, but we, we've been trying to fulfill ourselves with career and not just chase down money. We've tried to like pursue projects, whether it was work or side passions that contribute and that's and we've also like infused creativity into everything like whether it's business or whether it's my art there is certainly an overlap between creativity and more logical things like business and I think we've done a good job with that well yeah so I think that's actually what the conversation on the drive home was about because we finally were like okay I wasn't overly interested in doing a totally birth podcast and Jay wasn't totally interested in doing an all art podcast but where was the crossover and what we were super interested in and what that really came down to is these people who had created these magical lifestyles for themselves and the stories behind that usually started in something crazy or just the stars aligned or just these passionate people that had no option but to do what they wanted to do and some of these musicians, writers, artists, but then also just entrepreneurs and, you know, people that just believe in something, it, they didn't necessarily ever care about money or any of it. Some of them did. Some of them was very strategic. But that story is what I think is the most fascinating to both of us. So we really started to see this podcast come to life when we realized this lineup of people we really want the world to hear from. They all have these amazing journeys and we can all relate to certain parts of them, but sometimes the most successful people just took uh, some bigger jumps and more creative. I don't know. I guess just they reached a little further than yeah. others. Do you I th do you agree that I think a big moment for us is when we realized when we were kind of searching like how does this how does your passion of being a birth doula and my passion of art how do they possibly like mesh? And we realized that we were sort of both focused on helping new ideas or in, in your case people come into the world so we were both working on bringing something into the world that wasn't there a couple of days ago and that was kind of a cool way to really you know kind of identify what it was that we were so passionate about bringing new things new people to the world in a peaceful uh, inspiring fulfilling loving way and I think that's a lot of what our 
people's stories are about. Like some of the people that we know and we're friends with or some of the people that we've had conversations with backstage or on tour have been remarkable, but not necessarily for the reasons that most people would think. Like some of the musicians, for instance, that we've met are internationally famous. And you would think, oh, you want to ask them all these crazy stories about tour and whatnot. But usually our conversations are about parenting or yoga or creative process or about struggles or obstacles. It's really the stories underneath the obvious story that's been the most interesting to us. Would you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, in particular, just, I think it's so cool to hear us both interview um, or just in our daily conversation because Jay is always pulling people know like, going up into this. the sky with this I'm like a trippy one. Yeah, but I just need to know where the inspiration came from and and talk to me about your process and he loves that side and I like hearing the answers to his questions for sure. But my questions are always like you got to bring me back. Like when you were like 10, I don't understand how you went from playing in a sandbox to being an international musician. Like tell me all the steps. I want to hear the story and that's usually why I love birth so much because there is always a puzzle to put together and that completely fascinates me. Um, I think Jay sees the puzzle too, but it's just in a different way. Like he just reaches into inspiration. Like it's just this natural flow for so many people. And I think some people don't realize they're hitting that place until we start to dig in a little bit and yeah. pull it out. Yeah. I think there's such a, um, I don't know. There's such an intertwined, connectivity between all of it and I'm super fascinated by every aspect of it but lately I say lately the past five ten years especially I've been really interested in like the mind-body connection and spirituality and mindfulness practices and f how fitness and physical body and the, me the mechanisms of the body connect with all of that and being an artist I'm super connected to the you know, the puzzle side of it as you are too. And it's, it's great to hear the why behind it. And then also the how, and then trying to put the pieces together is just really super fascinating to me. And I realize sometimes I go like, get a little tripped out on these questions, but it's as an artist, sometimes you like, when I'm painting, you enter these zones that feels like you're on like another planet almost where you're not really there. And we were actually talking about that. Uh, the other day, we were talking to one of our guests about how, like when I'm painting, it pretty much, if I'm doing it correctly and if I'm in the zone, people will say, well, what are you thinking during that? And I, if I'm doing it right, I'm not really thinking. I'm just standing there with a paintbrush and I just so happen to be the guy that's that's doing the work. And it's that flow state that is just mind-bogglingly, is that a word? Mind-bogglingly. Boggling. I'm going to make up a word. Boggle. It's Boggling. pretty cool. How about that? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's awesome. And you experience similar things from being a birth doula. That yeah. Well, I think it's pretty relatable just because when you find your thing, um, you really are able to just sort of the rest of the world disappears and you're in this total Zen state doing what you do or, you know, intense state or however you want to refer to it. Um, but I do love, I, it was, I called Jay the other day while he was painting, which like we tend to try to like give him space, but um, I literally picked up the phone. He was like, no, just keep talking. It's easier when I don't think about <laughs> yeah. it. And I was like, I don't understand that at all. Like, that's so crazy to you me. You really don't understand that? Well, or? I could never take a phone call well, during a while, birth. Not while birth. You can't be like, uh, excuse me, uh, I need to take Push. this call. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just breathe that baby down. Jay, keep talking to me. It's like a little different. This but no, do you understand like in any way though? No, I do. I think it allows you to separate a little bit so that you just watch yeah. your hands Sometimes move. when I'm painting... There gets moments where my mind is so freaking busy, like analyzing what I'm doing. Like I'll see myself do something and I'm like, then my mind clicks in like, oh, you just totally. Yeah. It was like, am up. I bothering you? I'll just call you later. And he's like, no, tell me about their pediatrician visit. I'm like, <laughs> okay. I, I just... feel like if I give my mind something to do, yeah, it lets the subconscious part of me just do its own thing. And it's like kind of like hacking my creativity. Yeah, I think it's amazing. You know, um, otherwise, like the conversation I would have had with you is happening in my head and then I get super distracted. Yeah, he's like, he's like, well, wait, just call me back as soon as you can talk again because this is helpful. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Um, no, but I think reaching that state for a lot of people is like sometimes really hard. Sometimes when you finally find it, it's almost like a drug. You like need it back. Jay and I also joke about how like sometimes we want to run so far away from it. It's like you're almost fighting against yourself. So I don't know. I think we dive into that 
in a lot of um in a lot of episodes we've had two guests so far we have two more this week and I think we'll probably be up to about 10 episodes within the next couple of weeks um but yeah I mean we're super well-rounded with guests we so far we have entrepreneurs we have yeah, we have surf legends and icons in business and fitness trainers musicians musicians artists yeah uh, like so all across many. the board um but yeah we're trying to you know cover the spectrum of creativity really just that... i think we're just trying to give people a different lens to look through and and everyone that we know everyone we've talked to and everyone we will bring on the show are people that like really to coin the phrase shifting our perceptions of, Ooh, of i like how you did that um <laughs> It's, it's really true, though. When you understand like deeply how other people think and look at the world and how other people take in these stimuli of your senses and, and process it in new ways, you can kind of like walk away from the conversation and be like, oh, I, I didn't realize that was actually an option to think that way, to look at life that way, to like to process things in that way. That's some of my favorite conversation is that I love helping people. As, yeah. as you know, like I was getting these weird deep conversations with total strangers and you're like, who were you just talking to for the oh past my half hour? Gosh. <laughs> Forget it. If we're at like an amusement park or a grocery store, I know it's going to be like 10 times as long and just needs to talk to everyone. But here's the thing. I want to tell you why it's called shifting perception. Yeah. So there's a painting. Jay did an amazing painting. Um, it was, I don't, was there a name to the tsunami at the time? I don't the know. The tsunami. Just the, the tsunami. Yeah. I don't know. It was the one in. Um, oh my God, I'm blanking out. Fuk Fukushima, right? No, that was the plant. That's that, the plant. We're going to sound so dumb. It's so dumb. No, but it's fine. <laughs> but he, it was like it was 10 years ago. I mean, it was yeah, a while. It was, yeah. It was a good amount of time ago. Um, but it was yeah. horrific. And we like, we were actually at a G Love show the night before. Yeah. Remember, and we stayed at Luke's house and we yeah. woke up and. It was like just the moment where you like wake, you know, you wake up, everything seems fine. You turn the TV on and like, boom, like new information just literally transformed how you're processing. Yeah. That and day. I also feel like at that time it was so intense, but it was the beginning of like this skew of crazy natural disasters. So it was almost the starting yeah. point of like just one after the other, after the other, after the other. And yeah. But anyway, so the um, the painting is beautiful. There's two waves sort of crashing at each other with a giant fault line in between. And it's a powerful painting. But what we really always loved was, you know, so inside track, Jay and I actually always work together on painting titles. Yeah, because I always get stumped. Well, not stumped, well, I but kind I of run it past you. I'm yeah. Like, and I think he likes sense? to see what other people see in it because yeah. sometimes you're so deep in it that it's hard I like to looking out. at the title is with the same creativity that I would the painting. And I, there's always a meaning in my paintings. And there's like a sometimes there's like an autobiographical. Bi oh, my God, I can't talk. Biographical. I got you. Biographical. <laughs> thank you. I'm going to leave all this stuff in so you guys hear how much I trip over my This is my the words. first time in history my journalism degree has ever been used. <laughs> I use the autocorrect so much as I've been writing know, my book. Well. But um, anyway, so what the heck was I saying? That um, just talking about oh, the how the you title. Your so my titles always have like a, a deeper meaning, um, as do my paintings themselves. They always have another meaning, and uh, that particular painting we titled "Shifting Perceptions" because not only was the earth earth shifting, but our perceptions of the stability of the world and our lives, everything else shifts with new information or a new incident. And that's really what the show is going to be about. New information, new guests, new stories, new ways of looking at the world that can hopefully change the way you do things or inspire you to look at things differently and make your, your life a little more fulfilling in some way. Yeah. I think that if nothing else comes across in all these interviews, but you now have a new perspective on how you can possibly make money or live your life or travel or make the jump that you've been dying to make, I think then we've done our job. So that's really the goal. I think it takes courage and it takes inspiring stories to make a lot of these dreams come true in our life. And mm -hmm. I mean, not to sound too like hokey, but I really do feel like you need the inspiration. You need the story to make these, you know, to take the chance. Um, but yeah, that's our story. I think the podcast in itself is an example of like, we're doing this with no monetary reason. We're doing it because it's fun, it's fulfilling, and it's something that we've both felt so passionate to do. And so many people that we know or we talk to have this idea, this dream that's similar. They're like, I don't know how I would make money from it, so they just don't do it. Or I don't know how I would start, so I just don't do it. Sometimes you have to just do it and just realize that the universe is pushing you to do these things for a reason, to serve your calling. 
And whether it's my art or Chelsea being a doula or doing a podcast, or I've been writing a book for two and a half years, like you have to follow that calling because it's, it's hints and clues and intuition from the universe or from God or whatever your word for that is. And it's, it's something that's super important. Yeah. I mean, I think that's our wrap. Like, yeah. is there anything else we need to cover? So, yeah, I guess we'll just leave you with thank you for listening. And so we have a website, shiftingperceptionspodcast.com. We have a mailing list on there. Our episodes should be live. Obviously, by the time you're hearing this, this is live. Otherwise, you're not hearing this. So if you're hearing this in the future, please go to iTunes. Please take a minute and a half to leave us a review. Please share with friends. Please leave us comments, suggestions. You can find me online. I'm very accessible, as is Chelsea. I'm at, at J Alders on Twitter, on Instagram, Facebook. Um, Chelsea, you want to rattle off all your yeah, plethora Yeah, I mean, my Instagram, stuff. I'm not a Twitter person yet. Um, you have but two Twitters. You just don't do I them. I just don't use them. So, But you'll find me on Instagram for the most part, Chelsea Alders. Um, otherwise, email info oh at omamas.com. At omamas doulas on Instagram. Oh, yeah, right? my doula site. Forgot yeah. that one. It's Sundreams anyway, Productions. I think that's enough. Okay. <laughs> got I'm getting <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, everyone. A lot of love right. to you. Peace out. <laughs>